just looking at the overall stride length. All right. Now for me, the stride length is a byproduct of what I look at with drive leg loading pattern. All right. So descending from peak leg lift, you want, you want to absorb that energy in the drive leg. You want to produce that into the ground. And then you want to hold on to that loading phase to basically like kind of store up this energy production that we have coming down. And that's going to be what kind of initiates us to extend and, and get extension and to elongate our stride without forcing stride with the lead leg. You can see the drive leg kind of just going early. Right. There's no point which it like really stabilizes or sticks kind of just falls. Right. There's a difference between like kind of just falling and driving. Right. Um, I don't know if you watched the All-Star game. I'm going to show you uh, Ryan Helsley, who is just electric um, and what he does within his kind of drive leg. Uh, drive leg mechanics and how that kind of influences, you know, the, the, the acceleration rate down the slope and the stride. All right. Initial move. You can see how his, his center mass is already starting to shift down slope, all right, before he reaches the peak of his leg lift, tempo, head still. And now as he descends, again, when we look at the drive leg mechanics, we look at absorbing, um, producing and storing of this energy, so to speak, right? So absorbing would be descending from peak leg lift. There's energy to be had. We want to truly absorb that into the drive leg. So that's going to be something that we can do with our upper body, with, with whether it be like a trunk tilt, a counter rotation, whatever kind of helps aid in that storing of this energy, so to speak. Um, and then now as we store, right, like you can see how he's, his, his trunk is tilted. He's not, you know, he's not kind of falling out front and disconnecting from his lower half. Uh, he's storing this to now essentially drive his his motor right like if if the, if we're our car like the drive leg is our motor um down the slope this what's create this is what creates our acceleration and authentic acceleration at that because of the slope right so the way that we load the drive leg our loading our loading phase of the drive leg is also our phase in which we create acceleration down the slope so if we continuously sink and we're continuously loading our drive leg we're, we're now accelerating into front foot strike so you can see just this picture of like holy smokes he's producing force um just like a ton of force into the ground he's accelerating exceptionally well and just notice where his his arm action is like his, his throwing hand in relation to his front foot, right? So it's coming up at the, at the time, right? So it's retracting and loading into a scap uh, at the time his front foot is getting into his anchoring position, okay? Which is, that's what's creating now the rotational energy aspect. So when he does anchor down, he can just kind of snap and, and just essentially like release this rotational energy. Um, and then that will influence arm speed that will influence effortless power. Like we're, we're just like all these pieces to the delivery we're trying to put into one fluid motion. And again, not easy by any means. Um, all right, dudes, Robbie Rowe here. Thank you for watching that video. If you're interested in booking your own mechanical analysis, you can click that link right there. Also tell you a little bit about the service and what it entails. Hit that link right there. Subscribe, please. You can also check out that video right there, which is related to the video that you just watched if you want to get some more context on that. All right, guys. Much love. God bless. Till next time. See ya. Strike three. You're out.